Hey Hannah. What? You wanna go to Goodwill? Let's do it. Oh look, <laughs> there's a Goodwill. So let's get some Goodwill again today. We spent uh, the last couple days doing savers. Let's do Goodwill. Yay! I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't like the way these pigs are looking at me. It looks like what's for dinner is humans. I am liking what I am seeing. There are some games. Don't know if there's anything I'm gonna get, but look at all these gaming manuals. Hopefully there's something good. I think I have this one. You know, if these are cheap, they're just all that we bought. $2.29 a piece. Stacks. Stacks, baby. Let's just buy them all. Because why not? I'll keep the ones that I want and then put the rest in my antique mold. Wait a minute! Oh, I thought that was... I thought that was late before time. I don't know why that's what my eyes registered, but I don't have that, so that's a good find. Hmm. Alright, doesn't look like there's any video games. I'm not even mad about it though. Because of, of these. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, I've got everything's on this shelf, so. So I love these art jars. They're so cool. There's all these little patterns on it. Um, this one, I mean, $3 isn't bad for that. I might grab it, but it's missing its rubber gasket. Like you can see here, that's supposed to have the same thing on it. And that helps create the seal of the lid and the bottom. I mean, if you don't need anything to be airtight, it's totally fine. But it is really nice to have that air gasket. <laughs> I'll carry it around, see if uh, we end up with it. Let's try to find something better. This is usually one of my best stops for toys, but uh, everything's pretty bare. Hey, that's a hell of a good find now. It's looking like the bag toys are gonna to be a bit of a letdown too, just like the regular toys. Uh, kind of a bummer, because this is usually such a good one, but if there's any silver lining, it's gonna be this Furby. It's $2 is cheap for an older Furby, not the oldest, but old enough. And uh, I did see something, what is this? Just little plates for Lego. I don't know where to get them, I wish there were some more of them couple of anthropology mugs here. Elle, I think I already have Elle in my booth. I definitely have you already. I think I have key though. You heard right, team color today. Hmm. I might grab that one, it's only a dollar. I have been pretty desperate for a small toolbox, a sturdy but small toolbox, and that's 10 bucks. Pittsburgh. I guess it came from Harbor and Freight, but that's fine. I'll take it. There's some uh, Homer Laughlin pedestal mugs here. They're really beautiful. Homer Laughlin is one of those brands that like you keep in the back of your mind in case you find any. I don't know how much those are worth specifically, but I am gonna look that up and see if those are worth getting because they're only $1.50 a piece. So we'll see. Something is very wrong with this picture. See what this is? Baseball, okay. Same base, Arizona, cool. What? Why? Uh, Star Wars Day, okay, Star Wars Day, so I guess that's a baseball player dressed as a X-Wing pilot. That was confusing, but we, we got it. We figured it out in the end. You ready to see what I found? What'd you get? Under the toolbox. I don't think it's like the original line. It's some sort of second, yeah, it says Furby original on it, but I think it's like there was a remake line. But at any rate, it's the same size and shape as the original ones. Yeah, I mean, it looks, 1999, it looks right. Yeah, it's like a second, third run or something. Yeah, like for yeah. sure. That's cool. Interesting tidbit I learned on these little Marriott mugs while I gave it away. Is that they are Homer Laughlin, but they are from the Marriott. Um, there's several of them listed, but none of them have sold. So we're gonna go ahead and pass on those. That's a good sign that uh, they're not worth grabbing. We'll leave them there. To play Slap Ninja!
Put your hand in there. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why I can't figure out what fruit this is supposed to be. At first I thought it was a strawberry. I'm like, no, it's orange. I guess it's supposed to be an orange. But I'm like, it looks a little bit, you know, pumpkin-y because of the leaves. But maybe not more watermelony. I'm very confused. It's probably just an orange and I just am overthinking it. You know, it, it, it is an orange and I'm overthinking it, but it's just peculiar. I don't, I don't like it, but I like it. <laughs> uh, Hannah, what? did you lose your glasses? Did I? No, I had an orange ones on today. <laughs> well, somebody, one of you guys, I guess, just came in here and lost your Tindo shades. Cool. Speaking of weird things that confuse me, why does this planter look like a clawfoot bathtub? And why do I like it? I don't know why. I can kind of just picture, you know, one of those big curly ferns out of it, you know, an ivy of some sort, just up on a little pedestal, just like falling down off a table. There's something wrong with me today, I think. I think I'll get it, put it in my booth. Send help, I need help. Okay, one more thing about the weird orange thing. Look at these. Do these go with it? There's the strawberry. I mean, that's clearly a strawberry. So, I don't know. I'm confused. What's this? There's another thing full of fruit. This is field cookie jar? That's cool. We're deep in the shelves now, folks. Too bad nothing I have is purple or pink. Keep running across all these partition plates. I saw some a couple of days ago and then also I've been seeing them on my Instagram a lot lately. And I don't know, I've just had an eye out for partition plates. They're really pretty. I mean, they're a little basic. There are definitely some stoneware. They're super heavy. I mean, if you never ever want your food to touch and you want to make sure you're portioning correctly, I guess this is a great tool for that. You've got two choices, Goodwill or Goodwill? Gotta go with Goodwill. All right, Goodwill it is, because it was gonna be Goodwill either way, but. Ooh, got some pretty furniture here. This little vintage mirror is quite nice. Hello. It's a really beautiful rocking chair here too. That's really nice. They know it though, it's too expensive. This Goodwill has had a ton of good Nerf guns lately, but they've been pretty expensive. Looks like they might be finally coming down because this looks good. 1249 does not look good. Also, it's broken. There's a priming mechanism here that's gone. And also, I've never seen this gun at the thrift yet. It's pretty new. $7 is more I'm gonna pay for it too. Let's see if this has any cartridges. It does not. Well, I've seen this recently. Here we go. Ooh, I dropped it. That's almost worth it because of the color, but I'm not gonna pay 10 for it. I'm not gonna do it. Lots of pictures here that are catching my eye. These are really pretty. They're not worth a ton, but I see them a lot. They're really nice. This little orange guy is cute. Kind of small. He's really pretty. More of the, uh, these fruit teapots have been everywhere lately. Nice Coca-Cola pitcher. Very large. Oh, that's funny. It's the same crystal pattern as our everyday drinking cups when I was growing up. That's a pretty picture. It's very nostalgic. Check that out. It's lots of Nerf ammo. 249. Two in a row. Nothing. There's a cartridge that's supposed to go in there. Makes the gun extremely more valuable. Oh my goodness. And it's got the remote. But. Conundrum. I picked one of these up like two, three days ago. And. Should I get another one? It's not bad. It's a $10, which is a pretty reasonable price for that. I think I should go ahead and get it. 
I shouldn't leave it behind because I'll sell all the ones that I have and then I'll be like, why didn't I get that one? I'm so dumb. The video games here are usually pretty good, but I also always get the sense that like, there are some regular shoppers here that usually get the good stuff, but it looks like I'm getting my chance now because check this out, Minecraft PlayStation Edition at the exact same time. We're getting Minecraft 360, let's go, <laughs> let's go. I'm pumped, I'm super pumped. Neither of those though are for my collection because I have both. So let's try to find something for the collection. They go movie the game. I don't know if I have that or not. Looks like it might just be a Lego Minecraft build a block kind of day. I just bought that. Oh baby. This is what I like to see. That's what I like to see, all right. Now give me some time to go through the rest of these and make sure there's nothing of value or nothing else that I need. There's a lot to look at, so I'm gonna be a little while. Oh my goodness, a little Libby Glass. Um, what is the name of that butterfly? The uh, You guys are screaming at the TV right now going, it's this, it's this. Monarch, Monarch Butterfly, there it is. That's probably wrong still. They're really pretty. $5 for the whole bag of these little juice glasses. I mean, I think these are Libby glasses too. I mean, that might be worth it for the whole bag. Um, that's a bit of a gamble though, because those aren't worth a ton. I'm just, I just have a soft spot for them because my grandmother had that set. I'll think about it, we'll see. I'm not gonna spend this much money right now. There's a 3D printer here and it's on its side, I guess, because it wouldn't fit in here. But since they've thrown it on its side, it's kind of tumbling apart. But that's a decent enough little 3D printer there. Uh, I do want it, but I'm just, I'm not, I'm not here to spend $80 on a 3D printer today, but it's cool. It's pretty cool to continuously see more and more of this kind of technology in the thrift store. That really says something about where we are. First time I ever heard of 3D printing, it would have cost me thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to get my hands on a 3D printer. Now I have one, you know, it only cost me several hundred dollars and now you can get one for 80 in the thrift. I walked over to this section and I just had a feeling that there was a Pyrex bowl in here. Like I looked in all of this and I was like, no, there's not. It just, I just felt it in my bones. I don't know, but here it is. But, womp womp. They're too expensive, but that's okay. They're, they're a nice set. They're in good shape and everything. It's not a super popular pattern, but it's cool to see it. I just, my Pyrex senses were tingling. Well, that went surprisingly well. This Goodwill just never seems like a great one, or at least it hasn't for some time now since coronavirus and stuff, but that's pretty good. I got an expensive bowl, so I'm happy. Yeah, and all the stuff I got is, uh, well, a couple games. The games were good. The games were great. I can't believe I found both the 360 and the PS3 Minecraft. That's pretty wild. Before we get today's video wrapped up, I want to do a little work on this toolbox. Now, I've got a much larger toolbox that I put together a couple weeks ago in a video just to be able to transport stuff from in the house out to my van while we were just embattled, surrounded by lumber, working on the van. Uh, so that's a bigger toolbox. It's not one that I want to leave in my van because it's too big. But we're about to go on a road trip and I need at least my socket wrenches and my wrenches and some screwdrivers just the standard stuff in case we break down somewhere on the road i need the bare minimum to be, uh, to be able to work on my van myself so that's what this is it's just big enough i should be able to like slide it under my futon or something like that at any rate it should fit nicely in my van but look at this blank canvas it's just it's just red it's just a pretty red so what i've done look down here i've gathered a bunch of stickers a bunch of stuff some of this stuff is stuff I've made. Some of this is stuff that we source online and then sell in our antique malls. And even better, I think the best stuff, there's a bunch of stuff in here you guys have sent me. There's a couple of you guys watching, uh, like this guy right here. Uh, this is his logo and his Instagram and stuff. He made these, so we're definitely doing something from his pile. And this is really tough for me 
this toolbox is gonna get banged around a lot. So I don't wanna put anything in here that I like too much <laughs> that I don't wanna get scratched up because like, I really wanna put this TARDIS on there because it's like my favorite one, but I'm, I'm worried about it getting worn up or scratched out. So I, I kinda wanna put it on something else. So I'm kinda thinking, since he sent me two of this one, I'll go ahead and use one of those. It's uh, Hellboy Rocco's Modern Life crossover. Plus it already matches the color scheme going on here. So I'm thinking, we're gonna put him right here, I think by the handle. Let's put him right there, you think? Do you approve, Hannah? Looks good. All right, let's do him there. Uh, do you need to wash this first or anything? Uh, I should, you're definitely supposed to do that, but I'm not a responsible individual, so no. <laughs> Beautiful. If it were like a permanent vinyl wrap, I was doing that too or something, I'd probably clean it. But right now, the old spit shot's gonna do. All right, so that's cool. That's a good start. Uh, here's some Mario stickers I've made for my own personal use. So I'm kind of thinking, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do here. Let's finish stickers from you guys. We definitely gotta get a Tindo logo on there too. Uh, where is, here's some stuff Ivan sent me. Um, if you don't remember this video, go check out It's Just Ivan. That's his username here on YouTube. He makes a lot of cool stuff. He does a lot of reselling. He made me some Luchador stickers and I'm in love with them. Um, I'm thinking about going with these little boys here. Yes. <laughs> the blue one's my favorite. Let's do that. Uh, where should we put them though? Should it just be the pals with Rocco? He is now. He is now. Okay. Um, those are for me. I don't want to use too many of the good stuff. Let's put some of uh, the Dragon Ball Z stickers in. Actually, you know what? Capsule Corp. These vinyl stickers will stand up a little bit better. Let's, uh... These are some decals I made myself. Hopefully they transfer nicely. Let's try to get this centered up on this bottom square so it almost looks like a Capsule Corp toolbox. That's kind of cool. What do you think? Any Dragon Ball Z fans in the house? All right, here comes the satisfying part. Oh yes. Oh yes. Capsule cord, baby. Keep them little letters. How about that? You like that? Looks good. Okay, so that's there. Let's put a couple more Dragon Ball Z on it. I kind of want to find, yeah, there's some kanji. I would rather the turtle kanji. I've got I've got a lot of options here. I've got some Mario stuff. Oh well, I do have the turtle kanji decal, but I'd kind of rather. Um, you know what? No, that's not the turtle kanji. These are all in such a mess because this is almost really just my leftovers uh, stuff that hasn't made it into a booth yet. I like that one. Yeah, but I, if I'm gonna put another circle one on there, I'd rather it be the kanji. Let's, let's open a new bag. See if there's any more kanji in here. You said that like me, bag. Bag, <laughs> like a northerner. Uh, there's so much here. Shout out at the screen if you see anything you like. I'm basically opening a double of the same bag. So many options. None of what you're looking for. None of what I'm looking for. Was there another bag of... Here we go. Use those tiger teeth, baby. <laughs> I'm not. Mm, that's kind of cool. I mean, all of these are cool. I'll be happy with any of this on there, but I'm just kind of... There's Goku. There we go. Hey. Turtle. Okay, let's... Uh, where should I put that, you think? Kind of th I'm definitely leaving the Goodwill sticker, by the way. That's not going anywhere. I'm glad we found that because I was getting a little bit nervous. All right, I think I'm just going to slap it on the other side. I think. How about that? Blendable. Okay, let's do a couple more. There's some big stickers in here somewhere. There's a little. That's awesome. Uh, we'll probably do some Pokemon 2. Where are. Here we go. Rose from Guam sent us some Guam stickers. I've already used my favorite one on my other toolbox. Uh, just make sure I've got all of them. Is this it? Yeah. These are huge. 
I really like the other one I already used better. Um, that's all right. All right, so, so we might have a hard time finding enough space for this one. I mean, it's not gonna fit on here anyway. I could do it right there, but that looks dumb. We might hold off on the Guam then. Those are just huge. Uh, that's all right though, because then I can just put those on something else. All right, I don't want to do any more Dragon Ball. It's got enough Dragon Ball. Let's do a couple of these Mario stickers. Some Mario. In I almost wish I had just, you know what would have been cool? Is if I didn't do anything but just make like a Mario level across here, but mm -hmm. it's too late now. Let's do Firepower. And let's do, uh, let's not do too much Mario. Firepower there. I don't want to go overboard anywhere. Let's do a question block right there. And then maybe one more Mario, you think? I've made such a mess. Hmm. Hmm. How about just old Mario symbol? There you go. Okay. Uh, I have a couple more. Hang tight. So there was a lovely tattoo artist that sent us uh, a bunch of SpongeBob stuff, which I guess we could do something SpongeBob. I don't have a lot of faith in these kinds of stickers sticking on there. We might try it though. What do you think? What do you think SpongeBob wise? Do you want to just put a sponge? Are these like window stickers? Maybe. I don't know. Let's just uh, let's tear into this. Let's try it. Just sprung out of there. That was satisfying. Oh, there's two sheets. Oh, I'm down with this one right off the bat. How do you peel it? We might have to get fingernails in here. See if you can undo that. Maybe I'm missing something. Right? <laughs> what am I missing here? I don't know. Does it peel the other way? I am confusion. Yeah, I don't know. Where's the bag they were in? Maybe I misread it. Oh, got it. Okay, he just gotta be tough. All right. Hold the camera. I think we're gonna do SpongeBob right here below the question block. Haphazardly. Oh, bad application. It's a nice sticker. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, but the other one, what did I just do with it? This is actually some artwork she made. So check her out probably on Instagram, Taze underscore tats. I might fumble this one too if I mess, keep messing around. All right. Uh, I'm thinking right here by the rest of my bros. So all three of those are artwork from some of our subscribers. And I think that's pretty dope, don't you? That was it. <laughs> I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> well, both of us did that terribly. Um, I lied, I wanna do one more Mario. Lake of Two's my fave. He's my favorite Mario character. So. It's pronounced Lakatu. Cool. <laughs> cool. All right, so what do you think? Uh, we definitely need more stickers, but I don't want to. I don't want to just cover it. Um, maybe while we're on the road, in the next week or so, I might grab a couple stickers, just because it will be traveling with us, and we'll kind of tag it with stickers from wherever we came from. But comment below what's your favorite sticker that I threw on there. Hannah, what's your favorite? Rocco. Rocco. Yeah. yeah it's hard to choose. I'm pretty happy about that. I should have just done that. So it just looked like, you know, when you pull out the back of my van, it's like, oh, he works for Capsule Corp. All right, let's get this video wrapped up. No, wait a minute, don't wrap the video up. I forgot, not really the most important, but amongst the more important stickers. Thumbnail you, for the video? Do you like it? Oh, you think so? My Tindo, my Tindo toolbox, all right. Now let's actually wrap up this video. All right, what did we get at the thrift today? Honestly? Sometimes we bring home stuff and it's like, oh great, this is all for resale. Sometimes we bring home stuff and it's like, oh great, this is some stuff we're keeping. But I don't know, something about this spread looks a little bit nonsensical <laughs> to me. So let's just go back and forth one to one and talk about what we got. Uh, this is pretty cool, I'll tell you why. Uh, some of these darts in this bag of darts aren't, they're not that hard to come across, but I never have enough of them. There's very specific, Nerf guns that take these darts. This is Velcro on the end of them, and there's little Velcro vests for kids, and they stick to them. 
and uh, it's a little bit difficult too. They're difficult to sell for me in our antique malls because what'll happen is I'll put them in baggies and people will buy them and think they'll go in any old Nerf gun. But like, here's a regular old Fortnite Nerf gun from yesterday's episode. And uh, you know what? Strangely enough, it might work in this one. Mm, it's probably not gonna like it. It worked. That was a really bad example. But there's uh, most Nerf guns, like the, the Nerf guns with clips, these darts will not want to fit into. So uh, what I do is I sell them in bundles with the guns, with the vests, et cetera, et cetera. And I've got a couple of those bundles ready to go. So there's a good bunch of those in there. And then the other thing, these green balls are just some very specific and much older Nerf guns. So double whammy there. I've, I've got a really vintagey Nerf gun I can now sell because I have some of the original balls to put with it. So. Why well, you got to say it like that? I don't know. Balls. Put a little, put a little spin on it. What, what did you get? Um, I'm going to start with my most nonsensical thing. Um, yeah, what is that? It's a planter. <laughs> it's odd. <laughs> and I don't know why I liked it. I was just like, I can just see it. I can yeah. just imagine that working well. Are you putting that in your dish booth? Yes. Or? Okay, we'll sell that at the antique mall. I didn't know, maybe you were gonna plant something special. I don't know. Our apartment does not get any sunlight into it, so plants just don't work well. Yeah, even even our front porch doesn't. I think I bought one of these on yesterday's episode. Yeah. And uh, I bought another one today. Actually, matter of fact, no, hold on. I thought it was sitting over here. I already put it away. This is one of the coolest Nerf guns, I think, in existence because it's one of the few that primes itself upon firing. Like, that's what a real gun does. Of course, it's not the same mechanism doing that here. Uh, but you fire a bullet, you can rapid fire, no batteries. That's, uh, there's not many Nerf guns like that. Most of them have priming mechanisms or batteries that uh, prime for you, so. It's super cool. It's very neat. I was very surprised when I saw it. The trigger, of course, is a little bit harder to pull than the average Nerf gun. A, a kid could do it. It's not that bad. But first time I saw this, I was like, no way. No way. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, but those sell pretty well at our antique malls. What else did you get? I got an anthropology cup. There was a couple of them there. Um, I think a U and an L as well. And I have both of those in my antique booth already. Oh. So I'm just going to throw this one in too because I don't have P. I'm just trying to get the whole alphabet there, so if there's no excuse, anyone can get what they need. Well, you'll just have to take my... Uh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say you have to take my word on this one that I got the remote with this, too. Rarely find this with the remote, uh, but I did today. Uh, and this is pretty funny because, what was it? One of the last five or six videos we made, I did a whole intro attaching a GoPro to one of these and rolling around. Most, so most fun I've ever had with an RC. It was really awesome. Uh, but this is a pretty popular thing. The Mario one is always selling out. And there are times when it's hard to find. Matter of fact, right now, there aren't any, there aren't many of them listed on Amazon. Uh, I was, I was looking at them just, just to see how they were selling recently. And, uh, they're getting harder to get your hands on. But I did also see them at Walmart yesterday, yeah. fully intact, 30 bucks. But I say all this to say, I paid just a couple bucks for this, 549, and uh, I'm gonna throw it in my toy booth for 20, 25 bucks, and it'll get gone pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, so much fun. Uh, it's a good little RC. Tendo approved. <laughs> it, it's a good little RC, I'm telling you. Yeah, um, it's zippy. It's very zippy. You know what, I think this might, no, it's dead. Uh, the remote has batteries in it there is a luigi one as well and then there's another mario one that's on a mo motorcycle from this same line oh, i've never yeah. seen any of those other the ones of those in the wild just this mario one uh but that's probably i hate to give it away that's probably my find of the day what else did you get um i got a little arc jar and i will say while i was at the thrift i did not realize that the gasket was inside of here oh really i was like it doesn't have its gasket but that's okay um We'll have to fiddle with that later and get that back on because yeah. it's so much more useful with yeah. the gasket. I'll, I'll have to hit it with a little heat to make it yeah. pliable. But uh, yeah, you're, you've got a ton of these in your booth. You've been selling them pretty well. Yeah, I Can, love them. I just, they're so practical. I feel like there's two camps. Your mother put her flower in a Tupperware jar or your mother put her flower in one of these. And either way, you're coming to our booth looking for one. Yeah, they're beautiful. Okay, uh, talk about your big find there. So, I found one of these two days ago, I want to say. Yeah, we've you found a few of these this week. This is, I think, the five quart. It's the big one. It's the big one. For sure. And these 
so pretty well for me in my uh, vintage booth, but it doesn't say what size it is. It's big, and I think it's it's four or five. But You'll have to get out the graduated cylinders <laughs> and measure sure. its volume. <laughs> um, we picked up a Furby today. Yeah. We're always selling a Furby or two on eBay. I like this one. This might be my favorite Furby. It's if I really If I could bring a yellow one home that looks that good, I'd have to keep it on the shelf over here, but we're not keeping red things. I uh, will say, this is probably the best looking one that we've brought home. Yeah. It's this old, that's for sure. For sure. I've had to clean several of them. Well, also, most of the ones we've brought home have been from the Goodwill bins, which <laughs> is naturally going to make things dirtier anyway, so... I'm excited. I want to see if it works. You know what? I feel like we have brought a Furby home from that same Goodwill before. Am I making that up? No, it was from the Goodwill down on Baseline. Okay, so, so. it's a different one. Well, we've, we've been bringing a few of them home this year, and, and they don't sell for a ton, but they go quick, so, and they're fun to kind of play with and test and scare cats with. Yes. <laughs> okay, um, so two things gaming-wise. Stack of manuals, it's just, <laughs> just heavy enough that it's hard to lift, and then some games and PSP stuff. Uh, let's just run through these gaming manuals. None of these... I see one in there that I like, though. Yeah, well, I, that's the only one I'm, I'm excited about. Maybe, maybe this next one, but I don't know. Ghost Recon, probably not one I'll keep. These sell pretty well in our antique malls as well. And then Resistance 2. This is... Uh, I've been meaning to get around to playing these Resistance games, so I might keep that for a little while. Killzone 3, I don't have a ton of interest in. We'll flip. This is an upgrade because our little big little big planet's hand is the favorite game ever, and uh, this is in much 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 nicer condition yeah. than ours that for sure. Like somebody thought they would need it and they didn't. Yeah, I've already got that on the shelf, so I don't need to keep that either. God of War, Bioshock, and then Bioshock. So yeah. good little stack of manuals. Those surprise me in our toy booths. Uh, I've only got one. A toy booth of our of our few toy booths that I put these gaming manuals in and they've sold pretty well so that's cool all right I got a few games Lego movie video game pretty happy about that been wanting to play that Minecraft will flip I don't know if I had this one in my collection or not either way I wouldn't leave it there PlayStation 3 Minecraft PlayStation Edition sweet yeah yep, 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 yep. Uh, Red Dead Redemption for the PS3 very happy about that one. Did you have that one already? Um, I don't know. I'll have to look. But either way, these were all so cheap at that Goodwill. I was just going to get them anyways. I think not. Um, I think I have it. I think I had it on 360 and it didn't work. Ah. And now I've got PS3. This will be the one for PS3 and it should work because it's in perfect condition. And then a PSP UMD movie open season. Yeah. And it looks like the plastic case might need some replacing. I've got a few that are like this. It's kind of hard to see but the plastic comes apart. Not too hard to get replacement parts. Um, or, well, I don't know, I've never actually tried to source replacement parts per se, but sometimes I get some really scratched discs, take those apart, fix the ones I need fixing. Either way, I don't think I'm gonna be watching open season on PSP UMD. It's okay. <laughs> All right, uh, what's your favorite thing that you got today? Does it specifically have to be something I got? No. Because this that's your is favorite. My fave. Yeah, I love finding furbies. It's, it's such a nice one too. It's such a cool set of colors. I'm gonna say my favorite was probably that toolbox that we put all the stickers on. That's pretty dope. Um, and then other than that, I think I might actually spend some time playing this this month when we get back from our road trip. I've been meaning. I I haven't played the new one. Yeah. Because uh, I always wanted to kind of go back and play the gameplay of this one first because I, I played it once or two twice with a friend and maybe once or twice as the demo in GameStop a hundred years ago <laughs> But otherwise I haven't put a lot of time into it and I think I'd like it because I love just about everything Rockstar does You guys comment below. Let us know what your favorite thing that we got today was uh, Was it the gaming manuals? My weird Was it Hannah's here. weird little planter? Also, I'm kind of curious if any of you comment below come across a lot of gaming manuals. I wish I had counted them thus far. I feel like we've brought home hundreds of gaming manuals. I'm, my whole bottom row of my game room back here is pretty much gaming manuals that I keep, you know, most of it's like Mario and platformer stuff that I actually really want, and the rest of it I kind of get rid of or flip. Uh, but we just, it's, I feel like the number of gaming manuals we come across is pretty insane. I'd be interested in how often you guys perhaps come across them. Uh, but that's gonna be it. 
as we've been saying the last couple of videos, road trip is imminent. I hope you're ready for it. I hope you're subscribed with those notifications on so you can get notifications as soon as we post some random videos on the road. You can come back and hang out with us then. I, uh, I'm very excited about it, and, and I haven't really explained. I mean, I've explained how much we love travel, and some of that stuff's obvious. But uh, our, I'm trying to think of a, a way to say this where you might understand. Because being a YouTuber and trying to be a full-time YouTuber, it's it's very it's a very hard thing to explain to someone who uh, isn't in the know or doesn't do it. Um, but what happens when you make a YouTube channel and you start to have moderate success, not great success, but we've had some moderate success. We ballooned to 5,000 subs seemingly overnight. Um, and, and when you have something like that, it's very easy for you to get pigeonholed. So anytime we do something that you guys overwhelmingly like, views go through the roof, our subscriber count skyrockets. And, and I'm just, I'm basically explaining YouTube in general here. This is not just our experience, this is a lot of people. And when this happens, it's very easy to go, well, let's just keep replicating what brings the people in. Let's keep, uh, let's keep doing that. So, you know, if for a while our reselling videos are very popular, or we post more reselling videos, but then it kind of gets to where like, oh, well, you're a reselling channel and it's like, eh. I don't know, maybe I'd rather be called a gaming channel or maybe I'd rather be called a thrifting channel. When in reality, we're kind of just doing what we have to to survive and we enjoy making videos out of it. That's the baseline for us. Um, so, of all the things that we do that might bring you here, thrifting, reselling, gaming, dishes, of all those things, it might be individual reasons that are the biggest reason that bring you here. There's definitely another one for some people. There's so many people that found this channel, and I mean thousands of people, probably a third, even upwards of a half of our huge influx of subscriber base were you guys coming when you found our thrifting videos in your area, and you've stuck with us since, and I appreciate that. So this is all a long way of saying that uh, of all the things that we do that might have brought you here that would be the not worst case scenario for us to get pigeonholed as some YouTubers do, it's traveling. If we were going to just be pinned and stuck with something forever, I hope it's not reselling. I hope it's not thrifting. I hope it's nothing. I, I think the traveling is something I hope that uh, if we had to pick one, I do hope this channel continues to be an outlet, for, an outlet for us to just do what we want and to go where we want and make videos out of it. And if it ever adapts into a different form of reselling or the reselling turns into mass hoarding. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is we want to do, I, I hope you guys will continue to watch. But uh, I'm just saying this to say, you'll see a lot of YouTubers get burnt out because they have to paint themselves into a corner. And uh, I'm just saying, if we got to get painted into a corner, the traveling will do it for me. I'll be happy with that because I don't, I don't like much that we do more than the traveling. How do you feel about it? I agree, definitely. I mean, the the thrifting is fun. The reselling is fun. Um, and it's good for now, but I think being able to just go explore the world and everything is something I yeah. always want to do. So. I, want to listen, I want to go all over the world and continue to buy strange things, <laughs> but bring them home and hoard them. <laughs> we just need a bigger place. We need a place away from home for the hoarding and then a home with nothing in it but a PS4 and a bed. Or a PS5, maybe by that time. No? You want an Xbox? <laughs> you you? <laughs> I don't care about the rest of that. Um, but yeah. I, I hope that made sense. That's that's our thinking, right? Right now, as we're about to leave for this trip, that's what's on my mind. I get to, we get to go do what we want. And we're very excited about it. It is a little bit difficult because of the coronavirus. We can't do as much as we would want to, uh, but uh, we've got some cool stuff coming up. So just a couple more videos. You guys come back for a couple more days. Keep watching our prep as we get ready to go on this trip. And then after a couple more videos, we'll be on the road. And I hope you will be here for them. So, before we get out of here, check out our merch store, tinnostrash.com. We're still shipping out merch here right before we leave. Uh, if you order something while we're gone, don't fret. We're not going to be gone super long. Definitely a little bit longer than that last little bitty road trip we went on. Uh, but we're going to still get stuff shipped out, and uh, we will get those shirts to you, those hoodies, our, our merch, pretty quick. And thanks for all of you who do buy that stuff, because that's pretty much how we're paying for this trip. Uh, so we appreciate that support. Also, before we go, check out our Discord, tendotrash.com. Uh, pretty please come check it out uh, it's one of the many places you can go and post your social media finds and tag us with the hashtag hashtag trash life you just type hashtag and trash life all one word and occasionally on videos once twice a week now we're looking at your posts and doing something with them maybe while we're on the road we'll do something cool where uh, we'll pick find of the day 
and uh, and uh, maybe give one of you guys a t-shirt or some merch or something or some sort of voucher for our merch store. I don't know what we'll do. We'll, maybe we'll get to down the road giving away some other cool gaming stuff or something. But uh, one of the ways you can participate in that is going and joining our Discord, clicking on the link below this video, and going and checking that out. Otherwise, you can post those hashtag Trash Life posts on Instagram, anywhere else on social media. Uh, and in a couple days from here, we'll, uh, we'll get to looking at them. Uh, post them now. Go post them right now. And I think that's going to be it. Did I miss anything? Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. We're getting close to 6,000 subs. It'd be great to knock out the rest of six and all of seven or maybe even more while we're on the road. Uh, it probably won't happen. Usually the way that happens is that we do the trip, we do those videos in these other places, and over the next couple months, so many people from those areas will like flock to those videos uh, and end up subbing. But at any rate, if you're watching and you haven't hit the sub button, please hit that sub button and just know that we post daily videos here on this channel. So we would love it for you to come back tomorrow and check us out then. And until then, peace out.